Hello, my name is Hannah, and today we are building a tropical apartment in San Myshuno. And so I was trying to build an apartment, I think it was like last Saturday or Sunday, I don't know, one of those two days though. And I just cannot figure out which apartment I want to do stuff in, because I feel like I'm just like doing the same apartments over and over again. Like not in the decoration, but just like the same apartment like layouts and like this just the same apartments. And so I've been just like, I feel like I'm running out, which like you can't really run out because like you can do them multiple times, but I just feel like I'm doing the same ones over and over again. And also I've made like almost two years worth of videos, like a year and a half, I guess. And like, I'd say a good, probably a third of them are apartments. And so it just feels like I'm like running out. So I think I might like, take a little bit of a break from apartments. I'm gonna try at least. I do have a lack of time sometimes, so I will probably do some apartments, but I feel like I need to do less so that I'm able to do more in the future. And so I might try that. However, I'm not really sure, but I just had such a hard time this week just trying to do apartments because I would just like sit through and like look through all of the apartments in the game. And so there are um, the ones in Evergreen Harbor and those ones are a little bit easier because I haven't used them as much because they're kind of newer, but they're still kind of difficult because like recently I've been using them a lot because I haven't been using the ones in San Myshuno because those ones I've been getting like, you know, used to. So I don't really know, but I decided to use this one because I haven't used this one in a while, but I have used it a couple times. And so I decided to go with this one. I wasn't really sure, but then I w was doing this kitchen and I really liked the like light woods and like all of the color. And so I decided to make it tropical and make it really colorful and fancy. And I really like it and it's, it's very small, but it's very cozy at the same time. I did block off this little section in the kitchen because it's just kind of annoying to have those like two like needs TLC things in the kitchen just like taking up space. So I made it like a closet area and I put some bookshelves in there as like shelving units and like storage and stuff like that. Um, obviously in The Sims it's just bookshelves, but I thought that that would look better than just like, you know, trying to work around them like I normally do. But I thought that was pretty cool. And so I just put like a bunch of color on them and just made like that area dark so you're not as drawn to seeing like the issues. And also my favorite part about this apartment is the dead body outline um, is always my favorite part of this apartment. Um, I just think it's really funny because I usually just cover it up, but like the apartment looks so nice. It looks so clean. It's very cute and fun. And then you've just got this outline in the living room. And so I have, I think one time made it so the apartment like fits around the dead body outline, but usually I just like kind of cover it up and pretend like it's not there, which, you know, I do with most of the time with the Needs TLC apartments, but especially with the outline. It's just really funny, but then I work like a rug under it or like, the couch or something like that because I don't really want one of those in like the nice cute family home but it's still just really really funny for me to just like look at that every time I'm building and so just gotta work my way around that dead body outline every single time and I think that's part of one of the best parts of this apartment every single time but you know it is it is fun other than that I made like a bunch of bright yellow I usually don't use yellow in my tropical apartments I haven't made that many of them but I usually go more blue and green but I tried to get more yellow in this one because I just felt like it fit and since it is a small thing or a small apartment making it like seem bigger with the bright colors and like bright light colors so I thought that was pretty good and so I just put a bunch of yellow everywhere but then I did still stick with that blue because I feel like it fits and then I did a little less green but there is still a lot of green in here because I feel like it just fits that like yellow green blue color scheme they're right next to each other on the color wheel so like they kind of fit together and they f they feel so good like you know in like an apartment they just look good and so I just keep doing that um you can definitely make a tropical apartment like with any color I you probably could it just you just gotta use the right elements a lot of floral detailing um but this is what I typically do I've only done it like two or three times but this is just what I do um and I just haven't tried anything else but you definitely could do other colors and probably like darker woods you could probably do that too but this is just what I've seen in like all of the images of like the top tropical like style it's just like lighter stuff and then a bunch of like bright colors so that's what I do but you can do whatever um but that's about it for the apartment so I'm going to move on to some of the things that I did this week 
So the first thing I'm going to talk about is practice. Um, I'm probably just going to talk about that the entire time. But for cheer practice, we've had um, Tuesdays and Thursday morning practices, um, I think for a couple weeks now. Um, I think ever since we went back to school earlier in January. And so it is very tiring and it is really not fun. But the next Tuesday, we are going to get off because my coach got COVID. Really fun right there. But um, hopefully none of us got COVID because that would also be really bad but we don't have practice the upcoming week other than Thursday so that's good so I'm looking forward to being able to sleep in more days of the week because it's so tiring going to school and then just not being able to sleep for that long so tiring and so like half the days I was going to school were early morning so I was there for so long so I don't know but um, on Tuesday, we have been working on this like dance. It's like, I don't know, maybe like four-ish minutes around there. Um, I don't know exactly how long it is, but it's, it's pretty long. And so most of the dances we've done are like 30 seconds, maybe. But this one's much longer than that. And I really enjoy it, but we've been working on it really, really hard. And so I'm really tired most of the mornings. I was sweating so badly on Thursday when I got out of practice. And, like, I think I talked about it briefly, but I forgot to get water last Thursday. Um, I forgot to bring it to school, so I was dying all day until, like, lunch when I got a drink. Uh, but that was not good because you just need water after those practices because um, one of our coaches just has us do it, like, over and over and over again. Um, she had us do that on Thursday because we had some issues. And so I was just dying and I didn't have like water while I was at practice because it was at a different spot of the gym. And so I just kind of had to, you know, fight through it. And so that's not fun, but um, I don't think she cares that much. She's just like, no, nope, we didn't do it again. And we're just like, can we get water? No. So, you know, that's pretty fun. But we do have the dance pretty much down at this point. And so we um, are going to perform it probably sometime in February, so I'm looking forward to that. However, it's going to be at a boys basketball game, and um, like they've got a good crowd for those games, but it's just going to be because there's going to be like the entire like crowd is going to be huge, and um, not like you know varsity level huge, but like huge for like what crowds we get because the boys basketball games are much bigger than like the girls basketball games for example so there's gonna be a lot of people and a lot of the girls mess up like a good every other time so i'm kind of worried about that one and so not sure but we have another like two-ish weeks until we do it so i'm looking forward to it but i'm also it's pretty probably going to make me nervous like right about that time when we go to do it but it'll probably be fine because we do a bunch of stuff and um you know, we do a bunch of dances and stuff and like halftime stuff all the time, but it's still just like a lot to like, you know, think about, especially when it's like the first time we've done like a dance dance um, on our own because we've done one for the homecoming pep rally. But like other than that, we haven't. And so we will see how this goes. I'll talk about that again when it actually happens. But, you know, it's going pretty good right now. Uh, but other than that, we've had two ish around that girls be gone um, on a very regular basis for all of the practices not for any particular reason other than the fact that they just don't want to show up I'm imagining um, because they, they never give a reason they just kind of just don't show up to practice so not sure about that one but we were going to like you know write them out of the dance if they didn't show up we were like you don't have to show up on Thursday we're making new formations and you're out and so um, they did come on Thursday, and that was all good because we were like, if you don't know the dance on Thursday, you don't get to do the dance. And so, because we had to, we were going to originally perform it in like two days from now, and so they had to know it. But we got it moved back because, as I said, my coach has COVID, so that's really fun. But um, we were very like, you got to get it done because you keep missing practices. So I, I don't know how much they knew before we told them that because I don't think it was very much because they were just not showing up to practice. Um, one of them more than the other showed up to practice, but it was, it was not fun. And so then they came to practice and one of them just like wasn't trying very hard. And like this person is a fun person to be around, but I just, she just doesn't try very much at practice, which I really want her to do more because she could be good if she tried at practice. But she just, and so that made one of the, like the head coach 
pretty upset because she was already upset because like the dance wasn't like perfect and so she had like a talking to so really fun right there um but it was really bad um it was kind of embarrassing for the rest of us i can't imagine how she felt but she just doesn't try that hard during practice and i think the rest of the rest of us were dying and she just missed like the cue for counts like every single time so i don't really know i think it's a mixture of exhaustion and just just i don't know other things but it just doesn't make much sense because the rest of us were sweating dying and she was just perfectly fine like no no sweat no not red at all i was just like how are you not dying and then but like i can't see her half the time um but that's what they were talking about because um my coach isn't very quiet just putting it out there very loud voice and so you could hear but um it was just a lot but i'm hoping it you know, changes soon because I want to be want her to be in the dance, obviously, because it's not fun to like script someone out of the dance. But also, just we have to change, you know, the effort you're putting into the stuff. So I don't really know, but it's been a lot recently for practices. But I'm excited for the dance, and um, so that's that's about it um, for you know practices this week. Um, and it is almost screen test time. So um, subscribe if you did like today's video, or if you want to see more like this. But I do post four videos a week, so you can watch another video next time. Bye!